One legislator has an ambitious plan where he wants the government to provide free Wi-Fi in all the 290 constituencies. The motion seems to be gaining momentum and our parliamentary reporter Kennedy Muredi gives us more details from Parliament. Kennedy? Well, Zainab, one of the questions that is being asked is that uh, the telecom companies in this country are making a lot of money from data and it is one of the biggest netters of money when you when you top up your phone and mostly the youth even there are packages that have been created just for the youth to come in and just tap onto this data but one member of parliament that is nominated member of parliament Godfrey Osotsi is is thinking differently and he wants the house to resolve that Moving forward, the ICT ministry should actually go into the 290 constituencies and provide risk-free Wi-Fi. What does this mean? It means that every youth or anybody who is going to be in any part of this country is going to be accessing Wi-Fi free and provided by the government and he is seeking that the house resolves. What does this mean? I'm joined by him right now and we want to know what precipitated this? What made you come up with this and bring it to the House? Well, uh, one, I must first of all thank uh, members of Parliament for overwhelmingly supporting my motion today, which was to provision for free, secure, uh, risk-free and high-quality Wi-Fi services in every constituency. This is important because uh, you are aware that the country is a signatory to a number of uh, international con conventions around the issue of universal access to internet. And uh, it's an obligation that this country must uh, implement. So that was one of the driving reasons. The other most important driving reason is that, uh, you know, internet is key in our daily lives. In fact, uh, we are now in an era called the Internet of Things where internet is uh, really going to drive our lives. For example, in other countries, internet is used for managing things like accidents and all that through artificial intelligence. So we want to get to a level where this country is going to maximize uh, use of internet. And uh, for us to maximize the use of internet, we must ensure that we resolve the issue of digital exclusion. Which the, the, is being, um, uh, seen all over because over 74 percent of Kenyans have no access to internet. But uh, there's, a, there's a question of the cost impact of such a move by the government. Have you thought about it? The, the motion seeks uh, to have uh, private public partnership where the government will uh, partner with private organization to have uh, an appropriate infrastructure to support this uh, agenda. And this is not something new. It's already happening. You are aware that uh, Liquid Telecom, one of the operators, uh, is al already uh, partnering with county government in uh, Nyeri, Nakuru, and uh, Kiambu to offer free Wi-Fi in those, in those towns. So what we are simply saying, can we have it all over the country? so that people can be able to access even government services. Thank For example, at the moment, the e-citizen platform, most of the government uh, operations are running on the e-citizen uh, platform, but this is not accessible to people in the rural areas. Thank we you very like much, Mashima. Well. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mashima. And it is something that he says he is looking forward to it now that other partners have partnered with, even with county governments to provide such of this essential. And he says that next week there is going to be a very important ICT meeting, and probably it is time the country started this conversation so that anybody who is at any part of this country can actually access Wi-Fi and do some of these uh, important things that, that include even the e-citizen so that any Kenyan can access it.